All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, oh, yeah, they can both. So, I'm going to show you. I've um, made mine up already. I think Sass going to do hers on the live. Um, she's going to join us shortly. But uh, here's mine. So I've already made um, cream, jam, cream, and a little bit of cream there. My sous chef, bless him, is having a well-deserved rest upstairs watching a, um, watching a film because, well, thank God for that, really. Let's, let's face it, because I, I would still be here stuck with that wet mix all over my hands. Um, it's cream then jam. I think I did jam then cream today. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't know how they was going to taste. Just because those who saw the first one, first part, sorry, in terms of the actual process, We'll see that it didn't come without its um, trials and tribulations. But I've just had one before I'd added the jam and cream. And they're proper. Proper, proper, proper. Um, your cooking has inspired me to make a cheesecake. I think that's what I'm going to do next, you know. A cheesecake. Uh, so Seth's going to jump on quickly. Um... I'm not sure if you guys have seen my latest story, but um, make sure you're following at Isolation with the Nation on Instagram. It's our community hub and uh, everything goes on there. We do several lives a day. We do lots of cooking, baking, or well, we try to. Um, today was a fail, but they actually, they've turned out all right food-wise, so taste-wise. And it doesn't look that bad, to be fair, does it? Um, excuse the jam running all over the place. But uh, that's that. Um, and celebrity interviews. We have a celebrity guest every evening who we talk to. And tonight is the lovely Queen of the Jungle, Jack Josser, which I'm so excited to speak to her about because... She's just been so amazing in terms of helping um, me. So for, for months, since last year, quite early on to me campaigning to kind of make make trolling a law. And when I took it to Parliament, I took it to Downing Street. I contacted Jack on social media and um, she's done me shout outs on, on her Instagram as well. Um, she's fully been behind it and really supported and um, I'm really grateful for that. And uh, I never forget people who support me. I think it's a really important thing to do. I support people, I support my friends, and I support people in their, vent their ventures. Yeah, I support people in their ventures and their endeavors. And um, it's lovely when people do the same. So she's a lovely girl, and uh, I'm looking forward to tonight's chat. Um, let's see where Saf is. So if you've got any questions that you might want me to ask Jack, DM me over on the account that we're going to be doing our live from. It's at Isolation with the Nation. And we're going... Let's see if Saf's here. Yeah, there's Saf Aruni. Oh! All right, Saf. Oh, they look lush. God, I, I can't believe they've come out good. What's the flavour like? Stunning! Oh... I ain't a bad little baker, am I? Bob, no, talk, oh, we winged it. Well, no, it's not about winging it, Seth. There was, there was, there was some skill there involved on my part. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, it was an absolute comedy of errors. And unfortunately, I always, always save my life. And I press save, um, and for some reason, it's not uploaded onto my stories. And I've just thought, I know why, Seth. Because of my internet? Because you got bounced out 54 times. Yeah. 
That's exactly why I couldn't oh, keep. It couldn't keep with the, the the in and out. I reckon once someone's in and someone's out, it's Romeo done. Yeah, I'm gonna have to screen record from my other phone. I think in future. Yeah. So show me your scones. I want to see a little bit up close. I love that you have got scones on there as well. I have to do the strawberry. Oh, lovely, Seth. Can you believe it? Do they taste stunning? Stunning. I feel like I'm in the dog chester. I'm in old church. We're in the dog. I'm in the dog chester. Having absolutely covered in flower. She's in the dolch. We're dolching it up. I can't believe it. Hello, Seth and Bobby, you're both amazing. Thank you very much. I'm so, I so want to smash this one with the jam and cream that I've done, but I'm about to cook me and Matt some dinner now. I've gone from baking, I'm now about to cook dinner, which I might also do on the live, but um, it's just got to be something very quick and easy. Um, but I wish I could share these with people. So do I. And I've got these left, I've got these ones as well, which I've not made up yet. I have to get them in an airtight team. The thing is with scones, I don't think they keep them well. How's Matt? He's good. He helped me get out of a messy situation earlier on when I was baking. Basically, I doubled up the milk. I got the measurement wrong. I put twice as much milk in as I should. And um, it was runny as. So I had to salvage it by adding extra flour, extra sugar, um... What am I cooking for dinner? I don't actually know. So basically, I've got chicken defrosting. I managed to get some chicken today. Um, oh, I've did I? Some chicken fillets. Oh, I'm, uh, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that, actually. I might just knock up something quick. I've got some veggies again. I'm going to cook that. Uh, yeah, it's a strange... I don't, I don't really know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make him something because... I like to cook for him. I just like to cook. Someone was saying earlier, what, what does he cook for you? He never actually has, but I don't <laughs> say that in a bad way, bless him, because I think... You like cooking, don't you? I like cooking, so actually, and I think I, I would be agitated. I, I'd like to be getting... I, I'm one of them, I'd like to do things myself. I'm, I think I've realised what it is. I think I like... Um, yeah, I like the organisation and the order of things myself. Um, yeah, I'm going to knock up a little bit of dinner. Does anyone want to give me inspiration? Oh, I'm coming up with a little bit of a rash. I've got chicken. I've got a red pepper. Ah, oh, thank you. Potatoes? That's what I was going to get, but I forgot to get the box. So. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, no, I'm having a... I've got a cooked chicken and salad tonight. Oh, I've okay. got potatoes. I bought spaghetti bolognese. Um, I bought chili con carne. Oh. Uh, the live with Jack Josser should be around 8.30, uh, give or take half hour, so just tune in from then. I think I've got to do a chicken pasta. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love chicken pasta with broccoli and pesto and all that. Yeah, I think I might pesto it right up if I've got some pesto. I was so unprepared again. Just Guys, uh, did anyone watch our baking from before on the live that went... A sh was like a shambles. I'm covered in flour. <laughs> I can't believe it. How well the scones have turned out. They're stunning to taste. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Did anyone make any... Cheryl, you were laughing your head off at me. They've come out fabulous. It was just improvisation. If anyone has made uh, any scones, cakes, baked along, please do send us the... Um, Could anyone should... else just drink cream by, by the... Yeah, cup? it's no good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and if you did enjoy our live, uh, please do DM us because we'll share it because we've lost the first video. Shake your coconuts. Shake your body like a belly dancer, hit it, it, drop it down, just want to see you touch the ground. Don't be shy, girl, go for an answer. Shake your body like a belly dancer. I'm going to show you, are we up? What's up? What do you think? You've done a lovely old job there. I know. 
gonna go and get some photos now. So should we come back when you start cooking? Yeah, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna sort this out, and uh, I'm gonna be back on here in about 20 minutes. Yeah, half past six. I will be cooking. Shall I cook on this one, or shall I do it on isolation with the nation? Whatever you want. Maybe your one to lead up to uh, the interview. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll do it on this one, the Bobby C. Norris one. And um, guys, everyone, make sure you are following at is Isolation with the Nation um, because that is where that's where it all goes down, and that's where it happens on the reg. Um, and that is where the interview will be taking place, give or take about half past eight this evening. So it's going to be a good Love one. You lot, guys. We've got some good content coming as well. We've got good little chats before and after. Uh, we always have a little evening one as well. Um, we're going to talk about some good topics. We're going to open it up to you. We want to answer some questions. It'll be a bit of a Q and A, um, and yeah, we're going to touch upon a few things. So I think it's and going to be. And I'll be watching in the comments. Absolutely, Seth. Before you go, you couldn't put into the comments what the handle is, could you? For isolation with the nation, please, babe. I'm just putting a few emojis in, guys. So this is the account that I'm working off of. Um, <laughs> their little community. Because <laughs> this has become my job. <laughs> um, but a lovely job in the uh, the corona outbreak. <laughs> Isolation. You know what I mean. Oh, Steph, I love you. I've worn myself, I wore myself out from that first episode of the baking. I'm glad to be doing it, My arms have worked out. Oh yeah, I feel like I've gymmed it right up. So what with the dancing this morning? That's enough. We've done dancing this morning, so you missed that if you weren't over there. So we do a little bit of pop. The dancing's on our story on isolation with the nation, and Bob that. will be able to share this story now. Yeah, what was it, Bob? It was one. I've only one, two. <laughs> Shoot it. That shape. <laughs> that's how we'll leave it. And that, uh, that's me, Romeo, done. I'm checking out. I'll see you at half six, guys. Bye.